Joy Bihar, host of The View, occasionally has a pretty dry sense of humor. Together with her colleagues panelists, she is currently analyzing the fallout from the presidential elections. However, when she discusses the origin of her name, some of her past horrifies the audience. Joy Bihar, anchor of The View, recently appeared on Wednesday afternoon's Behind the Table podcast with producer Brian Tedda. Joy informs Brian that she knows it's real but will never be okay with it, even if he thinks she's still in denial about the new president-elect. Some people are dealing with it better than others, he jokes. She responds by clapping back, declaring that she is part of the low resistance and will not back down. Her recommendation to younger ladies to wait until they are 30 or older to get married was one of her main points. According to her, women become more self-aware with time. She also advises people to adopt a so-what, who-cares mindset in response to unjustified criticism. But according to Joy, if something is true, it must be examined. In response, she shares Geraldine A. Ferraro's advice to throw something in the garbage if it is untrue. Brian questioned Joy about the origin of her name during the viewer questions. She is, admittedly, named after Josephine Victoria Ochiuto, her paternal grandmother. But she relates the tale of Josephine, who, she quips, was Turin, Italy's shrew. Joy Bihar responds, I was born Josephine, named after my father's mother, who was a little wacky, I understand, when Brian Tedda asks her how she acquired her name. My grandfather chose to come to Brooklyn to see his brother who was here, she says. However, Joy's story becomes gloomy as it progresses. It was several months before my grandfather returned, she adds. Josephine, my grandmother, gave him a note that said, I'm going to kill myself and the children if you don't come back. I'm not sure if she sent it via pigeon or whatever. There were three of them. That'll do it, Brian adds with a laugh. As a father who understands how hectic raising children can be, he seems to relate to the concept. However, it's hard to tell if Joy or her grandma were being serious or joking because of their dry humor. She did not, however, elaborate on the complexities of her Italian grandparents' relationship. Rather, she presented the story as a memento of her family's history. That is who I am named after, says Joy Bihar. On the other hand, she received assistance from her maternal grandfather when she was younger. He insisted that she not be called Josephine at birth. Rather, he recommended La Gioia, which translates as the joy in Italian. She was then enrolled in school under the assumption that, although her legal name was Josephine, she would be referred to as Joy. Despite the grim origins of her moniker, many people enjoyed hearing Joy Bihar's tales. Someone writes, Love Joy, on YouTube. She has the perfect name since I always feel happy when I see and hear her. I love you, Joy, and your amazing stories. She really is a character, haha, <laughs> Aunt Joy. I am part of low resistance with Joy, says another. Other others, nevertheless, thought differently, saying, I know right. I'm sick of sunny disparaging white conservative ladies. She has some underlying problems and is mentally unstable. Joy Bihar, one of the most enduring and beloved personalities on The View, is known for her sharp wit, biting humor, and unapologetic approach to tackling hot-button issues. But during a recent episode, Joy shocked her co-hosts and audience with an unexpected revelation about the dark and unsettling story behind her name. What started as a lighthearted segment about childhood anecdotes and family histories took a surprising turn when Joy shared a tale that left viewers stunned, co-hosts speechless, and social media abuzz. This bizarre confession revealed a layer of Joy's past that even her most dedicated fans had never anticipated. The moment began innocuously enough, with the view panel discussing the origins of their names. The conversation was part of a broader segment exploring how family traditions and cultural influences shape identities. Each co-host shared their story, offering insight into their backgrounds. Whoopi Goldberg, 
Whoopi explained how her stage name was inspired by a Whoopi cushion, reflecting her comedic roots. Sunny Hostin Sunny revealed her real name, Asuncion, was chosen to honor her Puerto Rican heritage. Alyssa Farah Griffin Alyssa talked about her name's biblical origins, reflecting her family's religious ties. When the spotlight turned to joy, the audience expected a playful anecdote. What they got instead was a dark, twisted tale that veered into the macabre. With her characteristic deadpan humor, Joy began, You'd think my name, Joy, is all about happiness and sunshine, right? Well, not exactly. She paused, adding a dramatic flair that hinted at something deeper. Joy recounted how her parents chose her name not because of a joyous occasion, but as a kind of ironic memorial. According to Joy, her parents had suffered a series of personal losses before she was born. Her arrival was bittersweet, welcomed with love, but overshadowed by grief. Joy revealed that she was named in memory of her mother's sister, Giovanna, who had tragically passed away at a young age. The name Joy was meant to signify a rebirth of happiness for the family after years of sorrow. However, Joy explained that the irony of her name became a haunting reminder of the family's pain. Joy elaborated, Every time my mother called me, it was like she was trying to will happiness into existence. But you know Italian families, we never really let go of the drama. The story didn't end there. Joy dropped a chilling detail, her namesake aunt, Giovanna, had died under mysterious circumstances. Family rumors swirled for decades, with whispers of foul play, a family feud gone wrong, or even a curse. Joy quipped, leave it to an Italian family to have a curse story in the mix. My grandmother was convinced someone gave Giovanna the evil eye, and you wonder why I'm in therapy. The other co-hosts, initially laughing along, were visibly taken aback as Joy delved deeper into her family's tragic history. Whoopi Goldberg Joy, are you telling me your name is the result of a family murder mystery? This is some Dateline stuff. Sunny Hostin I thought we were going to hear about a cute nickname story. This is wild. Sarah Haynes Leave it to Joy to take a wholesome topic and turn it into a true crime podcast. Despite the heavy subject matter, Joy's comedic timing kept the mood light, even as her story took increasingly bizarre turns. Joy continued to share how her name became a source of mixed emotions throughout her life. Growing up, Joy was often told stories about her Aunt Giovanna, painting her as a beautiful, vibrant woman whose life was cut tragically short. Her family's insistence on celebrating Giovanna's life rather than mourning her death created an eerie juxtaposition. Joy shared, Every birthday, my mom would say, You're our little Joy, bringing light to a dark time. And I'd think, no pressure or anything. Paranormal Experiences Adding another layer of intrigue, Joy confessed that her family believed Giovanna's spirit lingered in their home. She recounted chilling childhood memories of unexplained noises, flickering lights, and a mysterious perfume scent wafting through the air. Joy joked, My mom said it was Giovanna watching over me, but honestly, it just made me scared to go to the bathroom at night. As the episode aired, viewers took to social media to express their shock, amusement, and fascination with Joy's story. One fan tweeted, Joy Bihar just casually dropped the darkest story about her name and I'm equal parts horrified and obsessed. Another wrote, This needs to be a Netflix documentary. The Curse of Giovanna, a Bihar family mystery. Others praised Joy's ability to weave humor into even the darkest of stories, showcasing her unique talent as a storyteller. Throughout the years, Joy Bihar's sharp humor has been a hallmark of her personality. While many see her as a comedian first and foremost, Moments like this reveal how humor can also serve as a coping mechanism for life's challenges. Joy reflected, I think that's why I ended up in comedy. When your name is tied to a family curse, you either laugh or go crazy. I chose to laugh. In the days following the episode, 
the view panel revisited the topic, with the co-host sharing their thoughts on Joy's revelation. Whoopi Goldberg. Joy, you've officially outdone yourself. I'm still processing this story. Have you ever thought about writing a book? Sunny Hostin. Honestly, it makes me think about how much our names carry meaning and history. But your story takes it to a whole new level. Sarah Haynes. I'm still stuck on the ghost part. Can we do a seance on the show? Joy's story sparked a broader discussion about how names shape identity and carry the weight of family history. For many, names are a celebration of heritage, while for others, they serve as a reminder of the past. Joy concluded, Our names are like little time capsules. They carry all the joy, pain, and drama of the people who came before us. In my case, a little too much drama. Joy's dark yet hilarious tale of her name added a new dimension to her on-screen persona. While fans have always admired her quick wit, this moment showcased her depth, vulnerability, and storytelling prowess.